Well, hello and happy 4th of July. Yay, sparklers. Papa's got his uh, suspenders on there. Yeah. <laughs> I have to get my glasses. It's like looking through blinders. Welcome to our 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and answer some questions, but I'll have to take these off because it's, it's like looking through blinds. And show your spenders. He's got his 4th of July spenders on there. <laughs> okay, that, that's good. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go. Uh, and comment below what you guys did today for your, for your celebration. And those that don't live in the United States, this is just a celebration we have for our Independence Day. Okay. Let's start with Amanda. What, what year was it? 1776. Wow. Yeah. Yep. What month and what day? I don't know. July 4th. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what day. Yes, July 4th. But July 4th. I know, but I don't know what day of the week it was. Maybe, let's say Tuesday. I don't know. I'll have to look back. Okay. Amanda and Nicole. Uh, Mama O, do you still have the song you wrote for Davy and April's miscarriage on their, on your channel. Yes, and I'll link, uh, post that up above here. And she says that she likes listening to that. Um, so thank you, Amanda, for that. All right, and uh, let's go to Shannon Bachman. Why don't you read that one? Okay, you guys are the sweetest. Are you excited for baby Frankie? Yes, we are way excited. be interesting how um, what he'll look like if if he'll have the red hair or not, like Ambry and Ender. I think it's a good chance. Yeah, it's a, it might be a good chance. So, um, and then yeah, we're way excited, and we're we'll wait to do the Jammies picture when Frankie's born. The April said she wants to wants us to wait, so we'll wait till uh, October, November. November, yeah. Uh, for Thanksgiving or Christmas. And I'll make him some little jammies. And Daniel Lefko, he says, in in 1986, how old was in 1986? How old was Davy? He was uh, seven 79, years old. Seven, yeah, seven years old. We did the math quick. Yeah, he's just little fellers. Um, okay, <clears throat> Amanda McDonna. Okay, I'm looking forward to your Cherry Hills vlog. With everyone wearing the PJs you made. Yeah, we kind of changed the plans on that because April wants us to wait for for when little Frankie gets here. So, have you started sewing them yet? And I have, I'm getting them cut out right here. We have, I'm getting them, I've got 10 over there cut out. And getting some more cut out. <laughs> so once I get them cut out then, we could start sewing them. Pause it. So, oh, okay, we had to move our seats a little bit. Okay, so I have started cutting them out. 10 down, 31 more to go. So, that's a good question. But, you want to show but them the, yeah, I did. Oh, I showed them. Okay. I showed them the material back there. And um, uh, so, we won't be doing it on Cherry Hills because everybody said, no, that's. We've graduated. It's they said it's too crazy. It's. Um, too expensive. It, it's too crazy to have everybody running around the jammies. You'll get them dirty, and she wants to wait for Frankie. Hey, there we go. <laughs> to, uh, go change the battery. All right, read the next one. Where are we? Right there. Uh huh. Uh, I've been listening to some of your music and was wondering what inspired you to write What About Daddy and Before She Was Yours. Okay. Great storytelling. Oops. Uh, what about daddy? I was just thinking about what my dad said when we got married and he said just take care of her and, and treat her good and I thought that would make a good song. Yep. And uh, and then before she was yours I was thinking of how I, I, I was just thinking how guys uh, in general, just people in gen guys in general just treat their wives really good when they're dating and then they kind of don't try as hard when they're married, and so I just thought, uh, boy, if you could just treat re, treat her like before she was yours, and I, I like that you yep. thought they were good storytelling songs. Okay, Shannon Bachman, 
Yeah, I love the gravy, chicken gravy. Are you excited for baby Frankie? And it's nice to see you post every day. Yeah, we're, we're excited. And April's a little bit over halfway now. And, so, and she's starting to feel better now. So it's way exciting. And she's had a few ultrasounds. So we've seen him uh, moving around in there. And it's just really cute to see him. And, and uh, so we are excited. Okay, why don't you read the next one? Where are we? Terry Dennis. Oh. Terry Dennis, here's a question for you. Did you raise all of your kids in the house you live in now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. When we moved here, we hadn't added on yet. We were going to stay a year. Johnny, our oldest, was seven, eight, nine months. And we had, we had 1,200 square feet, two bedrooms, living room and kitchen. One bathroom. And one bathroom. And we were here 10 years and we had six kids. We thought, wow, we've got to think of something. And I was ma making homemade bunk beds mm -hmm. uh, still in one room for all the kids. We had four kids in one room and two in our room. So then, and then we have two kids in our room? Yeah, mm -hmm. um, the crib at the end of the bed, Jimmy Joe in the closet area. When oh, been. in the closet. <laughs> area and then we added on because we thought boy we we paid 25,000 for this house and we couldn't afford to move and we got a a friend that added on for another 25,000 so it was just so we paid 50,000 total for our house and there's nowhere we could could go where it you could pay 50,000 for a 3,000 square foot home. Yeah. And now we've got seven bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it's just way nice. All so the we other, were very blessed. All the other houses here had basements, which would have brought it to maybe 2,500 square feet. Yeah. So we've got, uh, we've been here 44 years. We moved here in 1976. 1976, because Johnny was not quite a year old. So 44 years we've been here. Pretty crazy, and the the grandkids kids think that's pretty old. Okay, Helen Gay. Now this is interesting, as I was always told that it's not safe to cook chicken from frozen. I did a DIY on just putting frozen chicken in the pan, uh, but it must that it must be defrosted before you cook it. It obviously has never hurt you, no harm for you. It looks delicious. Yeah, I never thought out. I even cook the turkey frozen. I just throw it in the oven and it comes out just wonderful. I've never heard where it, you can't cook it from frozen, but, well, I haven't died yet, so. <laughs> well, the, I think the worst possible case is that the outside might be a little burned and the inside. Well, I guess. Not, I don't know why they would no. say that. Okay. Why don't you read the next one? Ancestral Bliss. When your kids were small, what were some of the most popular meals you made for Papa O and the children? Mm, good question. We did scones a lot, pizza, chicken noodle soup. Homemade pizza. Yeah, all this is homemade. I couldn't afford to buy the ready-made stuff. And it's her own pizza sauce made mm -hmm. from our own I'll do tomatoes. A I'll, I'll show you the link to my homemade pizzas and the homemade chicken pie, the scones, homemade, have I done scones? I think I have done some. Homemade songs. chicken pie, is that a song? <laughs> Good old chicken pie, yeah, something about that. And um, uh, what else did we make all the time? Oh, tamale pie. All of these I have, re I've done DIYs on. And homemade ice cream. cream. Homemade ice cream, we made that a lot. And uh, I got kind of got lazy, but we made some for Father's Day. But those were kind of the basic ones that we would do. The kids loved scones. Um, Everybody and, loves scones. Yeah, and I pizza, think. and I don't know. So those were our, kind of our main main ones. Okay. <laughs> I like Mia. Hear. Oh, Mia Perez. How many kittens do you have? Well, we have the three main ones, the grandma, the mama, and the daughter, and then and, the three baby kittens. And they're we've, all feral cats. Yeah, we've caught the three baby ones and the dad one, and they're in getting fixed right now. So then there's two black ones that kind of hang around, but they keep their distance. They I stay think far away. They, they're used to dropping by and see what kind mm -hmm. of food we got out. Yeah, those, there's some that'll wander through, but the three main ones that, that hang around out back, it's... Uh, those three. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, why don't you read that one? Grateful Epsi. Okay, that was quite a storm. I love thunder mm -hmm. 
and lightning. Good idea to rescue Papa O. That's what I was had to go say. Have though. you been able to catch Mama Kitty yet? I no. hope you have a wonderful week. No, we haven't been able to catch her. I went four days without feeding her. I was way surprised she would not go into that cage. Okay, by not feeding, she means a teeny bit of food for the Grandma Kitty. Yeah, I fed the grandma and the daughter, but the mama cat, I didn't feed her. She did not get food for four days. Well, because she would have to come walk up close to us to get it. No, the, I've got it in the trap. Oh, I yeah, caught the yeah. four cats in the yeah. trap, but she would not go in. I finally thought, well, she's, I was worried about her. I thought, I'll just have to try again another time. Uh, and I went ahead and feed, fed her, but after four days, she just wouldn't. I'm thinking my next strategy will be just to friend her, maybe get her so she can trust us, so I can just pick her up. But I'll put gloves on. <laughs> this. But yeah, we weren't able to catch her. So sure, sure how your cat scores. Uh, I, I do have a video coming out on that, but it hasn't come out yet on when I got bit by the baby one. And they're quarantine, quarantining. Did I say that right? Yep. The cats for 10 days to make sure they didn't have rabies. But uh, I should have put gloves on. But I caught an a orange cat that I think is the dad and then the three babies. And they'll bring the three babies back if they can't find homes for them. So, but have, they haven't brought them back yet and it's been nine days. Have they so, seen your video on you Clipping the wings no, of the new not chickens? Yet, oh. Not yet. That'll probably be out next week sometime. So let's go ahead and close with a couple quotes. And um, I wanted just to give you like a don't miss it, a trailer. Roseanne, one, Roseanne uh, was over 200 chickens on her farm and did everything, gathered eggs, kept critters from crawling in there and dogs mm -hmm. and stuff. and and. Uh, Anyway, so our chickens in the back, you have to clip their wings because even a six foot fence, they can, they'll fly out. So she wanted to clip their wings, so she wanted me to hold them. And I have held them before. I'm not afraid to do that. I used to be afraid they'd peck my fingers or something. But they they do peck when you oh. try and get their eggs. No, no, I meant just grabbing them to clip, yeah. clip their wings. Anyway, so you'll get to see when Roseanne has that video. She, with one hand, she's holding the chicken. <laughs> He's and, impressed. <laughs> and the other hand, she's clipping the wings. With scissors. She's holding the chicken down. Hannah gave me a couple of chickens, but I didn't want them flying out. I said, are their wings clipped? She's clipped. She said, no. And I said, well, I'll have to clip them. So. <laughs> no, but can you imagine? I would well, be afraid just, to, I wouldn't even know how to hold them or how to clip well, them. chickens aren't that smart. So I, there's not much they can do to hurt you. Okay, we'll close with a couple of quotes. Let's see. Uh, Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once you are grown up. Because hmm. you stop believing in yourself, I guess. Well, no, you can be an artist, but if it doesn't pay any money, you might have to support your family. And, and well, you still it. have that as your hobby. Well, that's what I told Ethan last week. I said, mm. have a plan B. In He's case. a real good artist. Oh, am I looking yeah. for one? Yes. Frank Sinatra. Mm. Anybody recognize that name? The best revenge is massive success. <laughs> we'll show them. Look at me now. <laughs> I was watching t a video on Taylor he, Swift. He was n never she mind. says Go ahead. She says she likes to write songs about her ex-boyfriends and she says that uh, one one boyfriend, you know, just dumped her, and she says, "Look at me now." <laughs> kind of like like that. Multi-millionaire. Yes. Oh yeah, she's top of the line. Well, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and happy Fourth of July! And I hope you had a lot of fun with with uh, sparklers and fireworks and everything. And when and when we used to go with the kids to a fireworks display, I never want. I had to be careful where you sit because if you sit too close, the spark, mm -hmm. the fireworks go up, and actually there will be droppings of cinders yeah. right on you. We'd have them drop right on you. Uh, that's how close you are. And my video tomorrow will be on uh, how to make a no-bake flag cake, flag cheesecake. 
Well, happy, uh, hope you have a great day, and we'll see y'all, and good night. Good night. And remember to look for the rose. <laughs> Kiss. Oh, I'm Kiss. coming, I'm coming. We're coming. <laughs> oh, dear. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have another great big hand for this family. Isn't that talent for a family?